Have you ever heard of avoidant attachment styles? Attachment theory can explain the different ways we behave in relationships with others. If someone has an avoidant attachment style, they may feel uncomfortable forming emotional bonds or getting close to others. Avoidant attachment styles can be divided into two subcategories, dismissive avoidant and fearful avoidant. These types of attachment patterns often continue into adulthood and can affect all kinds of relationships. Are you curious if you or someone you love has an avoidant attachment style? In this video, we'll explain 8 characteristics of avoidant attachment styles. Please subscribe, like, and set up notifications. First, Emotional Neglect in Childhood. Do you feel safer keeping your difficult emotions to yourself? Childhood neglect can lead to emotional trauma and often develops into an avoidant attachment style. According to Healthline, some parents may prevent their children from expressing positive or negative emotions outwardly. These parents may have ignored their children's needs during emotionally challenging times. Children may learn to protect themselves and hide their feelings. Showing characteristics of an avoidant attachment style. Second, the tendency to suppress emotions. Have you learned that expressing emotions is a sign of weakness? Do you feel it's better to handle emotions internally on your own? Do you often suppress your emotions and blame yourself for feeling vulnerable? People with an avoidant attachment style are uncomfortable revealing their vulnerabilities and may look down on those who are more emotionally vulnerable. Third, difficulty dealing with emotional intimacy. Do you find it hard to express your emotions in a relationship? Or do you keep conversations superficial and light when talking to someone? Do you spend long periods taking breaks for yourself? If you have an avoidant attachment style, you may avoid emotional intimacy and fear revealing too much about yourself. You may also strive not to need others in any situation. This emotional distance in relationships can confuse and anger others, leading them to think you dislike them. But in reality, it's an extreme boundary as a defense mechanism for those with an avoidant attachment style. Fourth, having extreme boundaries. Do you have very specific, firm, and strict boundaries? For example, do you limit the time spent with others or hesitate to share certain parts of your life? It's important to emphasize that having boundaries isn't wrong. Healthy boundaries are essential for maintaining healthy relationships. However, too many boundaries can make you seem distant or closed off. Fifth, maintaining shallow relationships. Do you prefer to keep your relationships, whether romantic or platonic, on a shallow level? In romantic relationships, you might refuse to meet your partner's family or avoid serious conversations and situations. In platonic relationships, you may be reluctant to delve deeply into your feelings, have long conversations, or meet frequently. Sixth, having a strong sense of independence. Are you very independent and self-centered? Did you have to become self-reliant at a young age? Or do you secretly look down on people who rely on others? Being independent isn't a bad thing. As children grow, they should become more accustomed to making their own decisions. But when children are forced to be independent too early due to neglect, they may develop a strong desire to solve problems on their own rather than a healthy level of self-sufficiency. Seventh, having trust issues. Did you receive the proper attention and care you deserved as a child? If not, you might struggle with trusting others throughout your life. Even as an adult, you might find it difficult to trust those closest to you and may distance yourself from people who seek or give affection. 
8. Being critical of yourself and others. If you have an avoidant attachment style, you may often look for faults in those around you, which is more associated with a dismissive avoidant attachment style. According to Joyce Catlett of Psych Alive, the trauma most commonly associated with this attachment style can empower the critical voice within, overshadowing their inner positive voice. As a result, it becomes easier to find flaws in yourself and others rather than positive aspects. We hope this video has helped you understand some characteristics of avoidant attachment styles. Thank you for watching until the end. Have a happy day. This was Ella.